Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to hit a curveball. Now, I got to be honest, when I first started seeing curveballs, I struggled with it. I had no idea how to hit them. So I would be up in the batter's box and I would be sitting fastball. And if a fastball came, then I would absolutely destroy it. But anything that spun, I was an out, right? I'd either swing and miss or I would just take it because I was completely fooled and I had no idea how to hit it. I knew I wasn't going to hit it, right? And so today, in this video, I'm going to share with you the keys on how to hit a curveball. And I'm even going to show you a great drill that's going to help you master hitting a curveball very quickly. So let's jump right into it. All right, the very first thing you have to understand is everything is based off of the fastball. You have to have fastball timing on every pitch and then adjust to off-speed pitches. And the reason why I say that is because if you are sitting on an off-speed pitch and the pitcher decides to juice up a fastball, there's no way you're gonna be able to catch up to it, right? If you are thinking that a slow pitch is coming, so your rhythm and timing is for a slow pitch and then he juices one up, it's gonna be really, really hard for you to speed up your swing at the last second and catch up to it, right? But it's much easier if you're thinking fastball and he throws you a slower pitch and all you have to do is keep your hands back, sink down a little bit, which we're gonna talk about in this video, and then crush the baseball. So time the fastball, Everything has to be off of fastball timing. That's the very first thing. Another thing you have to get through your head is your swing does not change. I see so many players try to change their swing when they try to hit a curveball. Your swing does not change. It's all rhythm and timing. That's the only thing that changes, but you should have the same swing mechanically on a fastball and a curveball. Let's talk about when you're confident that a curveball is coming, right? Maybe you've been paying attention, hopefully you've been paying attention to the pitcher and his tendencies, right? But maybe you're up there and you're down 0-2 or 1-2 and you realize after watching the game, studying other hitters at bats, you realize, hey, his out pitch is a curveball. 98% of the time when he has two strikes, he throws a curveball. So maybe uh, you're, you're really expecting a curveball. When you're confident that a curveball is coming, like I said, your swing does not change. The only thing that's gonna change is your timing. So what I mean by that is if I am timing a fastball, okay, I'm in my stance right now, my fastball timing would look something like load, go. Okay, one, two, load, go. The only thing that changes when I know, when I'm confident that a curveball is coming, I don't change my swing, that, that just takes longer, uh, my stride has a longer duration. So instead of load, go, one, two, it would be more like load, go, one, two. Okay, you see the difference there? Fastball, boom, boom. Curveball, boom, boom. It's just a rhythm and timing thing. So that's easy when you know that a curveball is coming, right? But what about when we have no idea that a curveball is coming? Maybe the pitcher's really good at pitching backwards, throwing every single pitch in his repertoire uh, in any count, right? So then what do we do? Well, if I come back over here to the ball and the tee, then it goes back to, again, fastball timing. And our swing does not change. We're timing the fastball. And then all we do, so remember, load, go. That's my fastball timing. Load, go, okay? quicker than if I know a curveball is coming. The only thing we do is, okay, I'm ready for the fastball, ready for the fastball, he's winding up, he comes to the plate, load, go, and I recognize that it's a curveball. So all I have to do is keep my hands back, and something that I didn't learn until later on in my career was you have to sink a little bit with the pitch, right? Like every, every single coach out there tells you, oh, to hit the curveball, just keep your hands back, keep your hands back. But they never tell you how to do that. And I found that sinking a little bit lower to the ground is going to help you do that, all right? So if I'm facing this way, fastball timing is load, go. And then I recognize, oh, curveball, I keep my hands back here like this because as soon as my hands start going forward, then I'm already beat. That's when you swing at those bad pitches in the dirt, right? Um, so as soon as we lose our hands, then we lose our entire body, okay? So when I recognize it's a curveball, oh, I keep my hands back, and then when my hands are back, my knob is facing the catcher, I'm in a good launch position, my hands are still back, what I recommend you do is just sink just a little bit, sink a little bit lower to the ground. What that does is it buys you a little bit of time, right? I'm keeping everything back, I'm not out over my front side, I'm staying balanced, my head's between my feet, and that just little bit of sink for just you know a split second will allow you to uh, let the ball travel, it'll buy you some time, and then all you do is you come up through it and you take that same swing and you crush that curveball. 
So the major keys is number one, keep your hands back, right? Because when we lose our hands, we lose everything else. Keep your hands back and just sink ever so slightly. It's not a huge, you're not dropping a foot or anything like that. And it's not going to take a whole bunch of time. It's literally a, a fraction of a second, right? It's just a little tiny sink that buys you time. But the major keys, keep your hands back, sink a little bit. And then another major key, let the ball travel. Let it come to you. I see a lot of players make the mistake of swinging, you know, that they get everything out way out in front because they're really trying to go get the baseball. And something that you have to realize is a curveball, you have time. It's a lot slower than a fastball, right? You have time. So fastball, yes, we need to be on it. We need to be ready to go. A curveball, and you recognize it's a curveball, it's just, oh, curveball, wait just a split second. Wait, 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 keep your hands back as long as you can. And then those hanging curveballs, those are the pitches you're going to take a yard, okay? So keep your hands back, sink, let the ball travel. And then the last major key is adjust your sights. So what I mean by that, when you are anticipating a curveball, is look a little bit higher. Look for something up in the zone. Because a curveball, let's say a right-handed pitcher to a right-handed batter, it's going to go up out of his hand, and it's going to start high, and it's going to come down and break for a strike, right? So adjust your sights. Look for something up. You get in trouble with curveballs when you swing at a pitch that starts out pretty low or starts out really low because those pitches are either going to break out of the zone or break in the dirt. The curveballs that you have success with are the hanging curveballs, the ones that start out high up in the zone, not above your head, but pretty high up in the zone. And sometimes they look like they're almost coming at your front hip. Those are the pitches that your eyes need to light up because they're going to break right down for a belt high strike and you're going to be able to hit towering home runs on curveballs. And one little curveball drill that I want to share with you is a drill you can do with a coach and just a tee and some baseballs, right? So very limited equipment. This is when you're first starting out learning how to hit a curveball. I like to call it the stride to balance drill, but this is a little bit of a variation. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a ball on a tee uh, about belt high, right? And you're going to put it pretty much even with your front foot because when we get to the point of contact, that's where we want to be, okay? And you're going to have a coach who's just a few feet away and what they're going to do is add as you go into your load, they're going to call out either fastball or curveball, or fastball or off speed. So they're going to do a verbal command to you. Now, when it's a fastball, let's say you go into your load and they say fastball, then there's no pause. We you know, land with our front foot, our heel drops, and then we start our swing. And we just take regular swings, focusing on hitting hard line drives up the middle. But if they say curveball and the coaches need to mix it up, say fastball a couple times in a row, then throw in some curveballs, right? The hitter doesn't need to know uh, what's coming beforehand. So only do the verbal command when they go into their load. But when they say curveball, instead of fastball, you're just going right away. Curveball, you're going to do what we talked about. So you're going to recognize, up oh, curveball, hold your load for just a split second longer, keep your hands back, sink a little bit lower to the ground. And then after you've waited just a split second longer, then you're going to come through, you're going to put a good aggressive swing on the baseball, same swing as the fastball, uh, and, and focus on low line drives. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and before you go, I actually want to share with you my free bat speed boosters. It's a 100% free bat speed workout that's going to take your bat speed and your power to that next level. All you have to do to grab that, just click on the very first link below this video in the description. That'll take you to my website. Just need your email address, and then I'll immediately send you these free bat speed boosters. So click on that link, do that now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already, because we're coming out new baseball videos every single week. And also so get in the comments section. Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.